Jackson, come on. Ray and Micah, good evening. During the first day of this four day hearing, Republicans previewed the issues they plan to raise and the concerns they have with this historic nominee. This hearing of the Senate Judiciary Committee will come to order. The Supreme Court confirmation hearing for Katanji Brown Jackson kicked off with Republicans promising a tough inquiry. They said Brown Jackson won't get a pass, even though she's on the verge of making history as the first black woman justice. Will you follow the law? What does your record indicate? Will you protect the rights of every American citizen, regardless of race, regardless of party, regardless of views? Senator Josh Hawley says he plans to question Brown Jackson about some of her sentencing decisions in sex offender cases. I'm interested in her answers. Other Republicans used day one to recall bitter partisan fights over past Supreme Court nominees, including Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Most of us couldn't go back to our offices during Kavanaugh without getting spit on. Hope that doesn't happen to y'all. In her opening statement, Judge Brown Jackson talked about how much she loves America. If I am confirmed, I commit to you that I will work productively to support and defend the Constitution and this grand experiment of American democracy that has endured over these past 246 years. Democrats want to move quickly to confirm Brown Jackson, and they're celebrating the historic nature of her pick. This is not a normal day for America. We have never had this moment before. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is presiding over the hearing. You're a living witness to the fact that in America, all is possible. Illinois Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton traveled to Washington for the hearing. This is the first nominee that looks like me and looks like my daughters. And there will be so many children all across uh, the United States and the world, quite frankly, who will look at this moment and imagine what's possible in their own lives. The tough questions begin tomorrow. Democrats control the evenly divided Senate and barring some sort of major development, they plan to wrap up this nomination process before Easter, Micah and Ray. All right, tomorrow.